Well, I think the most important thing is that Melbourne has uh, has been uh, has received award after award for its livability, and people want to live in a, in, a, in a nice environment. People will come and work in a nice environment. They'll buy houses and homes uh, in a nice environment, and they'll uh, set up businesses in a nice environment. So we're talking about aesthetics. We're also talking about the um, cultural dynamics, law and order, safety. So yes, it's very important, obviously, to get our planning right, to get to make use of our natural assets, the beautiful um, foreshore in in Frankston, the Camlock Creek itself, obviously, is, runs parallel, uh, and a range of other issues. That all just uh, contributes to uh, the overall impression that people have of a community, that people have of Frankston, basically about its livability. And we want to make sure that Frankston, Frankston's livability is uh, is enhanced, uh, and that its natural features are actually the, at the at the epicentre of that particular plan. The degradation of Camlock Creek has economic and social outcomes. They are serious outcomes. So, the, so the, the program to get back on track with that is now stalled at the moment because we do not have clear responsibilities for social outcomes, broader social outcomes. The restoration of 130 boats, which was the boat harbour we've lost. What I'm getting at is that uh, there is a need for someone to come up with a whole of government out solution here because it may well be the most efficient way of getting and protecting the, the, the flooding of Frankston CAD but it is also going to create um, and choke up Camlock Creek for its other beneficial uses, which is a recreational waterway. So someone needs to umpire this. Someone needs to sort of step in and get the balance right and make sure we don't just do endless studies. We've been doing studies for 20 years because the communities, the taxpayers, the ratepayers are paying this. So um, we need to bring this up. I know mm -hmm. it's, it's not that tonight was about flooding, but it's but the waterways are also of far broader uses, um, economic, social and environmental. What you flag, I'm sure, is uh, an issue that's not just been faced in Frankston, but has been faced by waterways oh, yeah. across urban Melbourne. Um, and it does flag that silo approach, you know, doesn't it? You know, that you have a particular um, uh, uh, vision in terms of departments, Melbourne Water has management of waterways. Yeah. Rob's talking about a broader cultural and social experience here. Um, and is, there, is there any movement within state government to actually take down those silos and get some people together, ministerial people or people at the top together, to, to actually get hold of those issues and actually... Christine, we've had some meetings in the past where um, certainly here and, and similar issues faced down at the Morty Alec Creek, uh, as well as a, a, a numerous uh, other waterways that I take in in my electorate, which which spans from you know Frankston through to Berwick, across to Glen Waverley and down to the Morty Alec Foreshore. Um, and the fragmentation of responsibility, can I say, the sharing of responsibility between a number of agencies has made the management of those waterways particularly challenging. And I, my personal view is that they have not been managed effectively, they've been mismanaged uh, for some time. So in a sense, they're not silos because, because there are shared responsibilities. There, there's a water authority that's responsible for the water, Parks Victoria for the banks, generally speaking, uh, councils, the surrounds, there's DSC that has a general oversight. So the problem is, is that if, when you've got too many players, and there are also lots of, unless those responsibilities and obligations are clarified um, through um, uh, memorandum of understandings, then there is also an opportunity to evade responsibility or not to fulfil it, especially when there are sort of challenging financial uh, obligations. So I, I know that having led other delegations to the Minister, the Minister for Water in this instance, he has, um, and this is a, a, a topic that is occupying his mind, now, whether indeed we're going to see some reforms um, uh, that uh, change the system of management, I don't know, or whether it's going to be a clarification of roles in relation to the existing um, agencies, um, I don't know. Whether it's going to be a building off on the um, CMA model, is it the, the um, Cash Management Authority model, I don't know. But, but basically, each waterway does generally have a committee of management, and I guess uh, what we in the meantime can do is make sure that those committees of management do work and do work effectively. Where I think, uh, without politicising this discussion, where I think it hasn't been helpful in the past is that there have been other ministers, often in competing factions, 
who don't speak to each other, who share responsibilities for these things. So if ministers can't talk to one another, it's very difficult for those departments to work as effectively as they should. But certainly, I think it's an area where we, as a state, need to do much better than we have. So we've made a commitment uh, to actually dredge the creek, and I think that goes a long way to getting some action after long years of neglect. But the enduring challenge is actually to make sure that all of those who have responsibility for the management of our waterways uh, actually fulfil their roles and do so co cooperatively. Now, that, in, that includes, for example, Mel you know, the Water Authority, uh, Department of Sustainability and Environment, and uh, the, the local council, uh, and uh, Parks Victoria, of course, through the uh, Department for Environment and Climate Change. So there are a range of agencies. Uh, we've got to make sure that they're working cooperatively, that their roles and functions are fulfilled and managed by a committee of management. Now, if that system doesn't work because it fragments responsibility, then we've actually got to look at revamping the system. So uh, short-term uh, objective is obviously to dredge the creek, uh, return it to its health and former glory, uh, but the medium and long-term challenge is to make sure we've got the management system that's in place that delivers ongoing outcomes. It's certainly something that I've been highlighting now for several years, and it's a matter that I've taken up with the Minister for Water, as well as, of course, a number of other relevant ministers. So uh, it is a, a, a topic that is uh, occupying some attention. Uh, what the response of that, uh, to that will be is, uh, I don't know as yet. It may well be improving the system of management that we have at the moment, but making sure that everyone does their job. Or it may be revamping the whole system. I'm not, I'm not aware of that. We'll find out in due course. But I will continue to advocate, of course, for, uh, as for the local member, uh, Jeff Shaw, for, uh, as well as Donna Bow, for Cannonock Creek and, of course, for a better, better and more effective management system. Yeah, it was a very good um, meeting and I, you, you put yourself in the position of the um, Melbourne Water who are trying to manage this outcome. Um, and it isn't easy, but, the, but I guess if, uh, if you're using the engineering science, hydrology, and you're tempering that with local knowledge and making sure that it's not just a statistical model that, uh, that, that, that runs the whole thing. Um, I, I, I think uh, basically it was positive and, uh, and it was a good exchange both ways from listening to what people had to say, uh, feedback that they had and uh, ultimately you know, putting this issue, the flooding issue, within the context of other issues, which are you know, the, the, the problems of, uh, of, of, a, of a flood solution contributing to um, a, an, economic, uh, to, uh, an economic outcome and a social outcome as well. So trying to put it together that way, not just looking at this in a silo.